Hey guys, the Mass Saiyan is back and we got a special episode because we got these sets of figures from different lines, but you know they're meant to be together. Let's first start with the Brawlies. So we first came out with this uh, legendary Super Saiyan Brawly from the original Dragon Ball Z, the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly movie. And, um... I absolutely love this figure. I, it was from the, I believe it was the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Z line. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's probably the best Dragon Ball Z Broly figure out there. It just, his likeness and everything is to the T, his pose, his face, just everything about it. I mean, I know in the last episode we, we reviewed the last one price uh, DBZ Broly from the History of the Film line, and that one is a great Broly as well, but it's just, it's too realistic, it's not, um, it's not just like the anime, like the movie, but this one is perfect, it's like straight out of the movie, so that's a great one. Uh, these two Broly's right here, um, came from the original Back to the Film line, um, we have here the 1993 movie. Um, this is his, uh, I would say his restrained Super Saiyan form um, because he has the little, um, I guess, headpiece that's keeping his power in check by his father, Paragus. Um, and I guess you can say he's the first uh, Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, but he was pretty much just as powerful as a Super Saiyan Blue because I mean, when he became the legendary Super Saiyan, he he fought against how many Super Saiyans? Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan, uh, Trunks, and Vegeta. So those four Super Saiyans could, and Piccolo, they couldn't match up to one legendary Super Saiyan. So, I mean, I would say Super Saiyan Blue right here. I mean, they couldn't beat him. And then we have here the sequel uh, in the... Um, second coming Broly movie um, where he turns Super Saiyan but since he doesn't have the restraining headband um, he actually has yellow hair um, and I love the attention to detail we'll get into that a little later but I just love how they did keep the scar in there so you can tell that these two figures are from the same uh, movie where they don't have the scar yet and then this is from the sequel movie where he does have the scar. All right. And then, of course, like I said in the previous episode with the last one prize, Dragon Ball Z Broly, from the history of the film, that one is the legendary Super Saiyan form from this movie line, uh, The Second Coming, since he also has the scar. And then we, now we have over here, uh, we have this amazing figure, uh, Final Form Cooler. And he is from the Back to the Film line, just like these two Brawlies. Um, he's a Master Lease Extra. He's probably my one of the top figures, uh, I think. He just looks incredible, heavy. He just is worth every penny. Uh, and then we have these two coolers over here that are from the newest uh, history of the film line. And uh, we have... The first form cooler uh, from his uh, the first movie, Revenge of Cooler, since he's having revenge on, um, you know, the death of his brother, or so he thought. Uh, you know, he is the brother of Frieza. And then here's Meta Cooler, who uh, came in the sequel, uh, The Return of Cooler. And yeah, this one looks awesome too. I mean, they all look great, but I love this metallic paint that they use for Metacooler. It just really shines. It really stands out. Actually, it looks really good with the um, Golden Frieza from the Back to the Film line. Uh, we'll review that one day as well. But um, yeah, wonderful figures. And you can tell that they just belong in these kind of sets, right? Like these two came together, but they belonged with this one from a different line. These two came together in the same line, but then they belong with this final form cooler from a different line too. It's just, I kind of like the pattern that they're doing with these Kujis. Um, you know, they're 
coming out with lines where so the back to the film and history of the film they're probably gonna have a sequel film line that will continue this trend where they're gonna have two variants of practically the same figure but they're like different enough to where they're standalone they're not just a repaint and we'll get into that and then they have like a a final form or like the ultimate form like legendary super saiyan the final form and from a different line but they belong together that's just how it is uh on why it reminds me of that mariah carey song uh but anyways let's get right into reviewing each figure in detail shall we all right so let's start with this brawly right here i mean look at this awesome Original Super Saiyan Blue Broly. Okay, so he's the restrained Super Saiyan Broly from the legendary Super Saiyan Dragon Ball Z movie. And yeah, I love the pose. This is an iconic pose um, where he's floating. Um, and yeah, I love the headband, the, the armbands, and his paint job actually looks like he's um in you know the nighttime mode right because this form only occurred at night when um he was attacking the z fighters while they were sleeping actually so that's why he has a little bit of a darker contrast in his paint job but yeah he does have shading all throughout so that's awesome. I, you know, you can tell that he has a different head uh, paint job be or head sculpt because of the headband. Hair's all, um, you know, divided. And that looks awesome. All right. And then we have... Actually, let's, yeah, let's go with this one. Um, this is from The Second Coming. So this one kind of has a little bit of a lean if you notice but it's all good and um yeah see you, his headband is no longer there his armbands are broken off too so he has full super saiyan hair of course it's not like as spiky as the legendary super saiyan form because he's not there yet but see look at that the little scar paint job um, his color um, pattern is a bit more bright since he's fighting Goten, Tr Little Trunks, and uh, Videl, Gohan um, during the daytime. And there's that scar right there in his chest and tor um, his abs where Goku delivered that massive punch. And all around great figure as well. Okay, and then... Alright, this massive beast right here. Boom! I love this figure. I th I mean, look at the detail with all the little lines in the sculpting. It's just incredible. Woo! Look at that. I mean, everything about him... So the, the paint job is the... It's just spectacular, but I think my only gripe um, with this figure is that his little, the sash he wears is pink. Um, I mean, if it were this color, uh, that kind of red, I think this figure would have been literally perfect, but he's near perfect. I mean, sculpt is perfect. Uh, most of the paint is perfect. I mean, look at all these details, like the lines and everything. It's just so, so perfectly sculpted, really. I don't know who sculpted this, but whoever it did needs to continue doing so. And this pose is iconic. This is when he's just giving that, that blast up in the top of the mountain towards the, um, I mean... This is actually an iconic pose for both movies, but every time I see this pose, I always think of the second coming, actually, um, when he was up at the mountain uh, firing beams at the Sun family, you know, Gohan, Goten, and eventually Goku. Um, but yeah, he does this quite often in both movies. 
So, excellent figure. And then, oh, yeah, his, so he, you can see his foot stand came off, but um, he doesn't need it. All right. So we got here first form cooler. Wow. I mean, a little bit of a quality control issue right here. But, I mean, they did, I like that paint that they used in the blue right here on his head. And he has that little cocky smirk. Shading practically all throughout. Okay, actually the back is not that much shading, but more so on the sides and the front. The the white parts do have shading actually. And yeah, coolers or Frieza's brother right here. And then uh We got Meta Cooler. Sorry for the shakiness. Oh man. And I, you know, they have a different head sculpt. You know, he's not smiling anymore. He's just super serious. Paint job's amazing. Um, look at the lines right here, the little lines right here, indicating robotic parts all throughout, right? Even his toes, his tail. Um, yeah, it's just. He only, he's basically is a different figure. I mean, it's not just a repaint at all. So I highly recommend getting both. You know, like they're, I mean, Broly's the same way. Like it looks like the same, but you know, the arms are different because of the armbands off, the headband is off. So, I mean, technically it is a different sculpt. Um, but anyways, you know, honestly, I'm not sure how they do the sculpting. Do they do like a like a 3D rendering of the sculpt and then they just print it out? Uh, you know, just 3D printing or because then they can just um, 3D sculpt it um, and it's the same form and everything, but you could just make minor tweaks with like the arm, the head the lines of the arms and tail, but it's like the same shape more or less as another figure. Um, but then they just 3D print it differently with just minor uh, differences. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's probably the easiest way for them to do this, right? Um, Cause if they sculpt it, you know, freehand uh, and it looks dissimilar to the other figure, that's pretty amazing sculpting if you ask me. And finally, we got this massive beast right here. Final form cooler. Look at this guy. Wow. And, you know, I feel like the same sculptor who sculpted the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly right over here was the same one who did this one because it has the same type of, I don't know, just the style is the same. It has like the, the just the little details everywhere, the little lines within the body, you know, just look at this, like little tiny uh, details of the vein here and, you know, all throughout the legs, even the tail of the horns. I mean, yeah, the sculptor, he needs a raise. This, this is so good. Heavy and perfectly painted. This is a perfect figure. It really is. Highly recommend getting this one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, I guess the only thing I, you know, if I were to want to change anything is maybe have another um, head where you can, or maybe just remove this mouthpiece. Uh, it's like a removable and you can attach it back on. That would be a nice touch. Maybe just like, it'll just look, look like the base form cooler's face and just, Right here, put it on. I mean, just uh, at least the nose and mouth part. But, I mean, I love the mask, too. He looks awesome with the mask on. So, all right. There you have it, folks. These sets are awesome, and I hope they continue to do this trend, and um, I'll be sure to get them. And I, 
Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate uh, the current subscribers and supporters. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions to spark discussion on the comment section. Uh, I'll be happy to uh, respond to each comment and uh, really uh, love building this community with y'all. All right, have a good one.